We can tag a room uh, with three different options. We can tag a room that just has the room tag, or we can have a room tag with an area such as the square footage of the room, or we could tag it with the volume such as the cubic volume of the room. Uh, we can go up to the tag room, we hover over and click in the room to place it. Notice we have room tag with an area and it doesn't work. Not sure why, but when I hit escape, I'm going to go out and do room. I go up to room now and I go over and change my my room tag. I can go to room tag, I can go to room tag with area, or room tag with volume. I'm going to go with area and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to place it in here where I want it to be. I'll pick and now I got room with 156 square feet and I can put you know in here I can say office for example and 100, 156 square feet so uh, we do get these different types um, I can come in here and click on it I could actually change the type to volume and say hey it hasn't been computed yet or I can come back here and just do the room tag and then we don't have the square footage I personally like uh, not the volume, excuse me, the, the area. Most people who can't read uh, drawings, such as floor plans, at least will know how many square feet this room is because they ain't going to be able to, they won't be able to figure it out by reading our drawings, such as our floor plans and our elevations, etc., and uh, section views. They're so confused they don't even really read them, but they can read this and say, ah, oh, there's five hundred fifty square six for hundred fifty square six square feet in this office they can understand that so uh, generally speaking that's the most commonly used uh, way of tagging a room